Hey guys, what's up? This is TFV Gaming, and today we have some exciting news. We have another football game that's gonna challenge FIFA and PES. And this one looks really exciting because it has the licenses and the graphics sorted out on the reveal trailer. So we are extremely hopeful for the new football game which is called UFL and is owned by the company called Strikers Inc. They have been developing this game for about 5 years now and the reveal trailer on Gamescom was something really out of the ordinary. It looked like a CGI commercial so that's why I'm quite excited about it. So let's dive into all the details they've revealed about this game and how this game can completely change the way we play football games since it's completely free to play. Starting of the trailer we see the Unreal Engine logo popped up which is quite expected these days mostly all next generation games are shifting towards the Unreal Engine because of the nanotechnology they have they can do ray tracing and stuff quite easily so yeah Unreal Engine on the back of a football game is always a good idea eFootball has also done it but they didn't deliver as good as they promised but this is another hope that we have looking towards the Unreal Engine and the football game simulators out there. As the trailer starts we see close up shots of the kits and some shoes so if you look closely to the kits it's it's quite evident that there is like detail on the on the microfiber level when looking at these normal maps these are quite detailed if you look at the threads and stuff you can easily see different specular highlights in the number section and on the cloth section so they have taken into detail a lot of things when moving on to the shoe shots you can see the hands and the veins are completely visible I hope this is not CGI because the other screenshots also look quite good that are from in-game footage that is so this is if this is in-game this is really good to be honest like look at the veins and you can even see like nails and stuff so it's really good and really promising here moving on with the trailer we see a shot where he steps his foot on the tunnel and the shoe here is it's impressive it's actually the best i've ever seen never even seen something like this in in a fifa trailer to be honest this is quite detailed and if they if they deliver something like this in the final product dude this is insane for a free to play game Okay, just after it, we see players exiting the tunnel, it's West Ham United on the right side, so they have the licenses. Having licenses at this level actually shows a lot of promise that big companies have gone in and partnered with these guys. So this is a long project that they can invest in. This company that's called Strikers or In has completely focused on their shirt cinematics and shirt dynamics. Look at the amount of detail you see when the shirt completely simulates. And the next shot we see the stadium in action. This is quite comparable to FIFA actually. We see some groundsmen taking care of the pitch and it's a small time lapse. So it's really good of what we see right now. Then there's a small run animation and then we see players chasing the ball. Close up on the grass detail, this is this is not in-game. If this is in-game, I don't know then. <laughs> this is not in-game, dude. Come on. If this is in-game, I have no idea what's gonna happen to FIFA, dude. Like, this is too good. Like, this, this looks like a commercial. Like, this looks like one of those football commercials. But this is really good for what they have in mind, at least. If this is CGI and the main game is not as good as this, but it's still close, it's still gonna be good because this is optimum, bro. Like, this is really good here. Okay, then they reveal their name and it's called UFL and then it says free to play and fair to play. Check more info on joinufl.com. When opening their website, we can see a lot of info on their website talking about how this game is fair to play and you don't have to invest any money in the game to get good at it. Checking out their website, it says Strikers are in Game Studio announces UFL, a new gaming online football league coming to all major consoles platforms. Moving on this day, today at Gamescom, one of the world's biggest annual gaming events, Strikers are in Game Studio announced UFL, a revolutionary new global online football league. The new gaming title will be available on all major gaming consoles, with the release date to be announced soon. In UFL, players will be able to create their own football clubs, made up of more than 5,000 licensed footballers and compete with other gamers worldwide to prove their skills and climb to the very top. The game will offer top-notch gaming experience powered by the Unreal Engine and take full advantage of the latest technologies. We are football fans and passionate gamers and we have been playing football with your games for years and we know exactly what people want to see in a football simulator, said Eugene, the CEO of Strikers Are In. We want to reinvent 
football gaming from the ground up and offer players around the world a revolutionary, exciting, fair to play experience. We can't wait to share more about the game. Moving on, they say Strikers are in partnered with FIFPRO, the world's biggest representative organization for 65,000 footballers, as well as Instat, one of the leading sports performance analysis company, who will provide the detailed data, up-to-date statistics for each player. After years of development, we are thrilled to see UFO enter the arena at a time where technology is advances present in the new opportunities to create the most authentic digital representation of football ever known, says Andrew Orsati, Fifth Pro Director of Marketing and Business Development. So if a Fifth Pro guy is authenticating this game, then it must be good. Lastly, they have been saying UFL is in development since 2016. So basically when FIFA 15, 16 was going on, the game will be available for free and will regularly add new features and updates with no mandatory payments or yearly fees. The game is designed to be fair to play experience that implies a skill first approach and zero pay to win options. For more information, please visit UFL homepage or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Taking a look at the official in-game screenshot, this looks really good, like the whole daylight scene is quite soft and I like the way they've gone with it, it's not that harsh as PES and FIFA, so we'll see how the lighting behaves on the faces of the players, but this is a day scene and I see a lot of detail and it's the same as they've revealed in the trailer, so it's quite good news. Moving on, another screenshot they've added is a nighttime screenshot of the same stadium. I see individual lights being on in the stadium, so this is really nice, otherwise in FIFA it's a big beam, so it's really nice they're paying attention on these little details. The pitch really looks like FIFA 20, somewhere like that, but I feel like it's, it's not as bad as FIFA 21 next gen, which is quite desaturated. Okay, so the last screenshot, this looks like a bit like... PES uh, actually, PES 2020. If you look at the grass blades, uh, they are quite good, quite, quite sharp, so I like that, that they are continuing uh, the consistency from their trailer which is extremely important in these games. So this is quite promising and if this is the in-game screenshot as they are promising, this game will go somewhere since it's free to play and we can obviously have options to play another football game finally after so many years. I don't know man, I was really excited when I saw this trailer and I'm really happy that there is finally competition in this area because the more competition that there exists, the better it is for all the consumers out there, say it's for it's eFootball, say it's for FIFA, everything excels at a different rate if there is better competition out there and free to play is something that we all would be looking forward to someday fifa will also turn free to play because that is the model that every gaming franchise is turning towards and such competition will always lead up to fifa doing it as well anyways thanks for watching this video guys i've been uploading daily almost about fifa 22 and i've been covering whatever they're releasing online so stay tuned on my channel there's a lot of contents coming i'm almost like making contents day and night and not sleeping at all so if you appreciate it leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye